Hello, and welcome back. Uh, this week we are going to talk about the Goodman handle and some tips and tricks that you can kind of do, little modifications to make life easier maybe for you, or maybe the way yours is set up, you like it the way it is. But just so you're familiar, the Goodman handle right here is the metal bracket that's adjustable to your hand or if you're wearing a glove um, to hold your light and allows you to uh, control it. The um, Typically, <clears throat> the light head use a double ender and it just gets clipped off here and you clip it to your, your D-ring, your chest D-ring, pull the wire tight and stow it. When you're deploying it, you unhook it, <clears throat> have it on your hand, take the D-ring, clip it back off or excuse me, the double ender, clip it back off to a D-ring, and you deploy your light. You don't like leaving it out here because it becomes dangly, and if you're running a reel, it can get tied up. So, what I've done, or picked up, uh, you know, <clears throat> through you know the years diving with it, is I took a piece of thin bungee cord, this is uh, West Marine, you can get it at the dive shops now, it's that reinforced braided material. This is um, it's the eighth inch diameter. And then what I did is I just put it through, you see it here, the one side of the handle knotted it, it goes over the top, through the other side, gets knotted down. And you pull this super, you know, pretty tight, there's a little play in it but goes over top of the light head. And then what we do is we actually clip the your double ender to that and you clip it back over to the other side like this so the double ender is sitting over the top. So now when you go to use it or when your your light head's deployed, the double ender clip is secured. You could even <clears throat> just take it, when you grab the light head, use your thumb and open the D-ring and clip it off and it sits a little bit sideways, but it's a little bit tighter to your chest. If you like it a little looser, you could always unclip the, D the double ender and let it hang. But when you go to use the light, you can just wrap it up in here sits like that on top of the light head and out of the way. The second benefit of this bungee cord here is if you're using a DPV and you're scootering whether it's in a cave or on a wreck. So typically with those your your right hand is on the trigger and your left hand has the light head and you're scooting along and you're moving it. Sometimes we need our left hand to adjust our wing or maybe a manual ad for a rebreather and good light etiquette is you don't want to pull it back and look up and either blind yourself or wave it around like you're signaling. So with this bungee here I can easily bring my hand over while I'm still on the trigger, grab it with my thumb, and then control the light, and now this hand's free. So you don't really need a special um, Goodman handle with the thumb loop. You could easily do it with about a six inch piece of bungee. And you can, you can control this and scooter. It's a little, you know, moves around a little bit, but this isn't a long term, you know, way to hold it. You just kind of put it there, adjust whatever you have to adjust, take your hand, bring it back, Come back and you're still on the uh, trigger. So that little bungee allows you to help with the stowing of your light head as well as a thumb loop that you can use while scootering. The other tip that I have which um, I picked up, I first saw it, it was out there, um, I saw it from Brent Hemphill with a pocket knife and I did that for a while with a cheap one, and then I upgraded to the Spyderco knives, which I'll talk to. But how what I do is I run 
it, one of my cutting devices is right here on the handle of the Goodman handle. So, so this it's on is the a Spyderco Salt One. Uh, it's perfect size. You can see it's basically the, just the size of a Goodman handle, and I chose. And they have the big thumb loops, so it's easy to pull out. And the blade's about you know the size of the handle, and I chose this one here because I wanted um, the straight. I wanted a pointed tip, as well as a serrated. The serrated's good for cutting, but the pointed tip. Uh, Honestly, for I wanted to point a tip for if I'm in the ocean and I'm you know hunting, I can stab a flounder or stab something down. I, I wanted you know wanted that, and then it just looks like a pocket knife. It goes back in. So all you have to do is drill a little hole. You should be able to see it right here through your Goodman handle. And use a quarter inch bolt. I just brought the whole setup to Home Depot and got it to the right width put a lock washer on it and a uh, nut and just bolted it it's just one bolt right through the end and what's nice is the spider co's see i'm a fan have you can kind of see it here but they have an opening and that's where the um for the the, the metal clip to clip to your your uh pocket you can take that off and that's perfect. It goes right through for your hardware for your Goodman handle. You can see it's it's pretty low profile. It's and it's always readily available. And it doesn't really affect the use at all of the Goodman handle. And like I said, you could set it up, mine set up so I actually open it and I can pull back towards me so if I have line I can pull it towards me like this to cut it but I can easily flip the knife around and have it the other way just preference you got to see what you like but you see it's right there you can't drop it it's attached to you and you could easily put it back um, and this is salt one it's a good size I think they do the Pacific one and that one isn't a blunt serrated you can get those just go on Amazon, but they're you want the 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 salt or the Pacifics with the H1 steel because well if you're diving in salt water like I do most of the time they hold up this knife here and I don't do anything except dunk the white head in it you can see that blade that's probably four or five years old and it's still razor sharp goes on every dive and I don't do anything to it. I don't even open the blade out of the, um, the handle when it's drying off. Another option, if you don't like the, um, the pocket knife idea or is, and you probably may have seen this, is doing the same thing with those easy cutters. So I just, this is a belt slide one that just got two zip ties through the belt slide to the handle and then you just pull it you know, again, you're, it's on, pull the Velcro, pull it, and we have the cutters here. And these are great for, um, yeah, they're really good for cave diving and just for lines. I've seen them cut some uh, pretty thick cable. I tried it, and I actually broke, broke the plastic off. My other issue with these is you have to take them out of the sheath when... After you're done washing, especially in salt water, and stick it here to kind of let them dry, where these blades rust uh, pretty quickly, which isn't too big a deal. But we do a lot of offshore stuff where our gear, you know, we're diving two, three days. There's no washing in between, and then it takes you know two days or so before we get home. So the gear really sits and takes a beating. Uh, and I just found that H1 steel on the pocket knives work really well. So this is a short video. I hope that was informative and um, useful. And again, please make sure you guys subscribe to our channel so you get the notifications. And we'll see you next week. Thanks.